Your boy is all here and tonight I have the extreme pleasure guys to show you the last plugin from Kush Audio, the AR1 compressor. Uh, this is an emulation of the famous Abbey Road EMI RS124, which was itself uh, a modified version of the Altec 436 compressor. And basically, uh, as usual with Kusho Joe, we benefit from the owner, which is Greg, uh, the owner vision behind the plugins, and especially when, uh, with, when it comes to um, colors and uh, transients handling, basically. This is what I love about this brand. He liked this, his things like warm, round, not aggressive and all that, and definitely the kind of sound I love. Okay, so basically, uh, think think of like Beck drums, Beck or Neil Young or this kind of stuff. You know, I, I love this kind of drums and all that. And so, so we're gonna check this baby, and uh, we're gonna check it on the last material uh, we used on the last video, and maybe we're gonna try it against uh, some other compressor to see um, the differences, right? But as usual, we're gonna make a plug-in tour first, and then we're gonna play with this baby. So, input output here with the possibility to link them. You have a sidechain filter here, which is basically at uh, 600 uh, 60 hertz, basically. Uh, you have the threshold here, the attack and the release here, from fast to slow. Okay, you have a dry mix knob here you have the possibility to link or unlink okay basically it's like stereo or dual mono here and uh, you have the uh, built-in of course uh, preset manager which is always a great thing and the oversampling here which is excellent the option to have it like uh, engage or not engage is really great and this is a this is not a gimmick guys this is really useful the bypass here, which I love because when you bypass it, you actually see it's bypass, right? There's a lot of plugins that just like make a small switch or stuff like that. But we really see it with the uh, Joe stuff. When you bypass something, yeah, you really see it like that. I kept this thing for the last, which is the tone controller here. And basically, you're gonna get from lifted to dark uh, material and um, we're gonna hear it, okay? I can describe it or make a analysis, you know, using a plugin doctor or something like that, but we, we're just gonna hear it in action and to see what's good, if you can use it or not, okay? We're not here to analyze the plugin. <laughs> we're here to to hear if it's great or not and it's easy, easy, it's if, if it's easy to implement or not. No more talking, guys. Here we go. Okay, same project here. We're, uh, track here let me just you might hear some noise from my computer because it's super hot guys like super hot hot summer so already already implemented here the compression here with a fast attack for you guys to appreciate the attack this is the key for me from compressor this is what i don't like uh, on digital compressors right usually the attack and not especially the timing of the attack, okay? Is it fast or not? But the way it's gonna attack, basically, okay? The way it's gonna smash the transients and all that. Okay, so let's bypass this thing. Let's be sure that we match the, the volume here, which wasn't the case, as you saw. Okay, and let me unbypass. Move compression all right I just want to kiss it and I'm gonna bypass it now hey okay first thing we're gonna notice is how uh, stuff gets in your more in your face more cohesive and we gain density for sure guys And 
I'm not like smashing it or something like that, okay? It's just smooth compression here. but at the same time it's rounded I love it okay listen listen to the listen to the kick and the clap when it goes on the kick See, it's glued together, and um, it, 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 they seem to be on the same kick or the kit, right? It's not like uh, individual elements playing uh, randomly. Okay, same kick, clap, hi hat. Now, it's fucking groovy, guys. Also, you remember we reviewed this bad boy. A few days ago okay and basically we're gonna see the differences but guys uh, what I hear here is also fucking groove the groove is right Sound by sound, we, go, we ain't gonna analyze uh, sound by sound, but this is this is a way for you to have reference when you're gonna hear you know, compression in uh, compression in action. The thing is that uh, I want you guys to analyze the general vibes, but also to to try to spot uh, the impact of this compressor on each sound, and especially the transients. The transients is key. This is the first. Um, uh, the first uh, information our brain is getting, right? So, the transient will make uh, the sound sit in the 3D fields. And uh, also, uh, it will give us a general feeling, right? Listen. And the, that, 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 the rim shot here. Listen now. See how it's 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 uh, disturbing, right? Like someone knocking on a door or something like that. Now, now, now. Okay, it's it's more like. Um, more like a pillow behind the beat, right? Listen to the bass. Now, I don't know if you feel it. Um, I mean, maybe I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm tricking myself or not. It's late, and uh, the computer is screaming with the vents. 
because of the heat. It's just crazy. So we're gonna play with the settings for you guys to appreciate the guy. Okay, we're gonna smash it a little more. Still sounding great, okay? Easy 10 dB organ reduction, listen. Fast attack, guys, okay? Release 100 here. I'm gonna... Um, <clears throat> the settings, the volume. It's kind of too much, right? But it, this is really to to appreciate the impact on the on the transient. Usually fast attack, I, I have a click, right? Which I hate on the digital world. Okay, we're gonna use the sidechain here. No. Yeah. Get back here. Now it's warm. First time I, I, um, I read it was 60 hertz, I said, okay, why not several uh, values? But listen, it's done right. I mean, the, the key with the high pass filters on sidechain is not the frequency but the curve, basically. And he got it right. <clears throat> I must confess. Sorry guys. Then. Okay, I know it's too much guys, okay? The thing is that I really want you guys to, to appreciate the, um, the feeling. I feel hardware, you know, I, I don't feel like software and this clickiness which I hate, like I told you. The second thing I want you to hear is the groove. If you wanna be more conservative, just use the mix knob which I never use because uh, I think that a great compressor is, ever, is great without, without that. But it can be useful, right? We're gonna use it. I'm gonna snobbish. This is the way I will use it with the dry wet here. I think we got something great, guys. About. Oh boy. Ooh. Greg, Greg, Greg. with the mix knob here with other compressor we lose too much character okay but this one have definitely uh, yeah some cojones some balls like everything from Abbey Road guys <laughs> we, we much confess guys okay those guys know all their stuff as soon as you see something on the Abbey Road studio you know that the validation process is wicked. Here we go. Okay, super great. I'm gonna get back here. Sidechain. You see that even like that, it's sounding smooth. I'm gonna go super fast. 
fast, fast. Okay, here. Okay, I'm gonna get back here. Like that. Okay. This is more like a, a more gentlemanish impression. here uh, off and low basically if this is counter on my brain low usually is here <laughs> and the higher you increase the nerve it's gonna be higher this is always tricking me when I use the over compressors and all that and get back to this one okay we're gonna make a good compression and we're gonna play with the tone guys and then we're gonna try it on uh, some heavyweight stuff which basically are a no joke with digital compressor. Okay, we got it here. Without. Now. This is really obvious when you ha you hit the kick and the clap at the same time. Listen. See how it's it's cohesive, it's dense and uh, rounded, right? The tone, lift it first. Listen. I'm gonna exaggerate, right? I love this thing because sometimes I lose too much on the mids and all that. I need this back. dark right so I really pushed it here for you guys to appreciate it but it's a question of like really smooth usually I stay uh, between those two points, right? Listen, I will do it like this on this beat. Listen what I'm gonna do here. Okay, I'm gonna push here the mids and all that. And I'm gonna use the side chain here to bring back the lows, right? Listen. Okay, here, I like what I hear. The high heads, the clap and all that. Now. what I mean. Uh, listen. Okay, now. Okay. Yeah. So, this is the key. This is why I, I kept it for the for the end. So, thank you Greg for this thing because um, 
compression is one thing. If we can get, if we can skip like, uh, let, let me just, uh, if you can skip like uh, AQ processing or side chaining and all that, uh, it will be great. It's always good to make it in the same plugin and uh, it will really, really shine. It's, you know, you see that it's working on a, on a master bus right now. It's pretty simple track, not mixed. But uh, I will not be uh, as uh, violent on a mixed track because I, I, I will already done um, have done some some stuff before. But uh, basically, it will work wonder on uh, individual tracks, right? Like bass, voices, and all that. It's it's just crazy to have this kind of tone on a compressor, tone control. And this is one big goodie you're gonna have uh, versus over compressors, right? All right. Maybe you're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. I'm gonna put it back here. And we're gonna try it uh, versus the magic here. And uh, also another compressor that I love which is the BX here. Just me match the volume here. I'm gonna lower my headphones. Really, it's really difficult for me for on this video, guys, because um, the vents are really loud, and I have a DT 1990 zero uh, from Bayer Dynamics. It's open, so it's really difficult for me. I hear more noise than the beat. Here, this is this will be definitely the compression I will make with this thing. Okay, not fair because the attack is not the same, right? So I'm gonna do that here. Here we closer. Okay, I'm gonna get back and make a gain. It's a colorful compressor here. <laughs> Look at the size of the knob, guys. I'm so waiting for the resizable version here. It's the super compressor here, okay? So we're not going to, um, to say like, okay, this one is gonna be better than this one. I just want you guys to hear the differences and why you're gonna use this one or this one on Master Plus, right? I shut my mouth. Attack, fast release here. Now. It's a little more crunchy here. I'm gonna be like smoother here. Tiny screw, tiny screw. Okay. Okay, here, it's more in your face, right? The transients are rounded, so you, you, you're gonna feel less um, deaf, basically. Okay, less, less, 
less depth on a dynamic range, but more density. Okay, you see the different character. Here it's more like open and all that. And um, one is great right because basically this one is doing what I want from a SSL but with less uh, clickiness SSL is really great to glue a mix and uh, to bring uh, stuff forward right if you want punch SSL is great also Surprised because usually very mu are like boring for me, <laughs> you know. But uh, those guys made some great stuff lately, you know. Yeah, definitely another character here. Okay, I'm gonna use electronic. I know you're gonna insult me because this video is going to be long guys but uh, we do the thing right or we don't do it right okay okay the key the kick here percussion the clap the shaker okay check your uh, in your head okay we're gonna make um, operation first with this one there we go oh boy it's it's playing it's playing with it no problem usually it's super clicky with a guy the compressors right yeah okay we're out oh boy oh boy wicked okay here you feel more um, the separation between the sound we're closer here This one is more nervous, right? It's more, um, it's more nervous on this kind of beat, right? We're gonna check the SSL. Okay, SSL is reacting faster. the attack here but listen to the tail of the better um, weight now yeah it's more 
controls, I think. Yeah, I'm really surprised. You know, I didn't try the settings and all that before doing the video. So I'm discovering it with you guys. And boy, this is dope. Okay, we're gonna play with the sidechain on this thing. Oh, I'm gonna show you, uh, let me just play it. With this thing. face here okay maybe too much but we're gonna try and then we're gonna try darker some plugins to do that like the RC, RC20 from um, XL and Ojo and all that oh boy basically I will not use it on the hi-hats and all that but on the kick and snare listen oh man it's like really putting putting it in the fucking analog stuff Can't wait to try this thing in conjunction with uh, the last AK Multimedia tapes. Guys, I want to take this occasion to really uh, thank uh, those brands, DDMF, you know, Plugin Alliance, UBK and all that, because they really bring some stuff affordable, okay, and with high quality, and uh, we getting fucking closer to uh, great hardware, guys. We're getting closer, guys. Okay, I'm gonna bypass it. The difference in sound is gonna be huge, right? Okay, but I just want you guys to focus also on the compression, but just the, the benefits we can gain on, on this beat. Kind of too much, right? This is what I'm, I will definitely put it here. There's, there's some, uh, maybe the lows are kind of too high. This is why I talked about uh, putting the tape, which I will not try here because of the CPU. Listen, look at that. some crazy stuff with Novatron. Novatron from Kush, which is basically in pretty every uh, buses on my last work, the last album. And uh, yeah, when I need color, it's definitely Kush stuff. And this was this one is no exception. But to tell you the truth, I, I really dig this one maybe a little more than Novatron. Uh, for the kind of stuff I, I want to ask to a compressor a compressor to, to do on my analog stuff, right? 
uh, digital stuff. Listen. Okay, we're gonna make a definite, definite try now of threshold here, and we're gonna drive this thing and just gonna hear the the, uh, the feeling of the the driveness, right? You can use the I/O link here. Okay, I just wanna try something. If the attack and release are impacting uh, or not the drive here. when the threshold is off the whole compression is off okay but now let me try this thing at the same time oh yeah so guys when you buy this plugin you're gonna have two things okay a drive unit and a compressor, or the, both at the same time. This is def definitely the kind of stuff I do with Elysia Fils Cascade, okay? Yeah, in fact, it's some frequencies. sorry guys okay i wanted to try it on another, another bit but <laughs> i think you get it so conclusion about this bad boy uh first of all uh as usual from kush audio a lot of character the the gui is excellent the the vu is on point the controls are great i would love from scratch here when i mouse scroll here uh, you see that's 1db implementation you have to uh, use the you have to use the control here to be more precise 
I would love to have precision from start here. Okay. But it, it's like I'm, I'm scratching heads, uh, hair right now. Uh, splitting hair. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, GUI implementation, great, as usual. Uh, option here, oversampling, uh, linked, unlinked, and all that, great. The mix, great. Uh, sidechain, thank you. Uh, IO link, thank you very much. The tone, wicked. That's fucking wicked here. And the compression, yeah. This is really, really like with the last release, I'm really surprised by the quality of stuff we get served at really fair prices, right? It is 99 right now. And I know some compressors that are way more expensive and, uh, and uh, maybe less good. So, uh, yeah, this thing has cojones, guys. For Varimu, uh, it's it's like it's like you just have this name Varimu, but it can be like super pillowy, like we made it, or it can be like super crazy. It can be crazy, right? Uh, it brings stuff in front of you. It gives density, glue, color. Uh, so it's a definite, definite, definite winner for me. I really hope you guys uh, try it and uh, give me uh, your feeling about that. But yeah, it's another winner. I'm so sorry, guys, because every time I make some video, I say, okay, this compressor is wicked. But yeah, yeah, we get served some crazy great compressors. And basically, it's time. It's a uh, emulation of a hardware. Usually, the hardware are very good, okay? And uh, the, the closer we get to the hardware, the more great compression we're going to have on the plugin world. So don't be surprised. The key for you guys uh, is to really know when and where you're going to use this or this one, okay? Uh, if you're looking for a one compressor that can make it all, you can. But usually, uh, I love to have some options, not too many, but I love to have some options. And usually, um, it really depends on the job you're going to do, right? For example, if I do a lo-fi album, I know exactly what type of tools I'm going to use. But if you are mixing a genre or something like that, having a lot of tools at your disposal, uh, it can be great because you can handle any kind of situation, guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, take care of you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you can, if you want. And i catch you guys later. And don't forget to give me your impression and... Uh, you feeling about this bad boy because uh, it's really a bad boy.